Uh, hello formers welcome back uh, in this tutorial we'll simulate airfoil underground effect and uh, we'll also simulate the same airfoil at an altitude and we'll compare the lift forces of an airfoil when the airfoil is underground effect and when it is not so uh, here essentially what we need to understand is uh, what is a ground effect what is a ground effect uh, well ground effect is a phenomenon where uh, an aircraft experiences higher lift and lower drag when it is flying closer to the ground or at an altitude lower than the lower than its wingspan length uh, the simple way to understand this is because the ramped up air underneath underneath the wing acts as a cushion which is which is known as the cushioning effect and that enables aircraft aircraft to fly more easily but if you want to look at it look at it more deeply uh, then it is because uh, in, during the ground effect the ground surface restricts the upwards and the downwards movement of the airflow and which causes more lift and it also restricts the formation of wing tip and line vortices thereby reducing the drag uh, I'll show you the some photographs of an air uh, okay so here you can see uh, the ground surface is essentially blocking the formation of uh, ground a formation of wing tip vortices these wing tip vortices after they strike uh, the ground surface they disappear that reduces the induced drag so th this is what we are going to do today so let's get it started so you can uh, download this case file from the uh, link mentioned below and you may want to copy this uh, case file into your open form run directory here I have already copied it it is called ground effect and we will modify the existing file uh, into uh, to simulate an airfoil at an altitude so you, ca you may want to copy this ground effect into uh, another folder and give it a, give it an appropriate name so let's go back and uh, enter the run command in your uh, uh, terminal window so there you go okay so you may want to copy this uh, ground effect into another folder so here th there is a little uh, file that I have prepared at, at the side of my window uh, to follow the steps of the tutorial uh, so here I have copied the uh, ground effect uh, case folder into another case and I've given it a name non ground effect which is uh, we will modify this file later on and simulate an airfoil at an altitude and compare the lift forces between the two cases uh, so now you first want to go to uh, your uh, ground effect case file and visualize the mesh here you can see uh, this is the mesh file uh, for for an air uh, for an airfoil uh, under the, under the influence of ground effect you can see here um, this airfoil is very near under ground effect this is uh, we will define this boundary condition as a ground boundary condition later on uh, uh, here you can see that uh, this is a uh, this is very coarse mesh. This may not give you a very accurate result in terms of resolving boundary layers. So you may want to refine this boundary layer if you are looking for an accurate results of boundary layer. But here we are only concerned about uh, uh, comparing lift for an airfoil when it's under ground effect and when it's not under ground effect. So uh, this uh, this will not uh, be a very big concern for us. So we'll leave it as it is for now. Uh, so you can now you can uh, generate your mesh using using this command here right now okay there we go right here uh, you at, at this point of time you do not want any errors in, in your terminal window uh, so now we can convert the JMS into your open form mess okay there you go uh, so now here we have created <coughs> mesh uh, so now you want to go and modify the boundary file into your case constant polymase boundary file okay let's see here uh, the front and back is essentially they are not passed they are uh, the two sides of the plane so they will we'll keep them empty we'll define them empty this one will also be empty uh, the ground will uh, basically be a wall a uh, domain boundary you can leave it as a patch and wing is we also define this as a wall so you may want to save this file make sure you have no errors okay in control dict file uh, you may want to add this function at the end of your control dict file 
uh, in order to create uh, in order to generate lift so you can find a uh, function uh, in in your uh, computer uh, file here open form then go to your etc folder sorry not not the etc folder src folder and then go to your function objects function objects forces forces this one here you can see uh, this is your uh, function object to generate lift and there are instructions given here how to define uh, all these uh, principal entries in your folder here you can read up read about this one but i've already uh, created this one here uh, the patch is basically the wing where we want to generate generate our uh, lift forces and okay so we'll leave it as it is and close this file now you can call your solver but we'll hold on to uh, before calling the solver and then we'll go to our next case file uh, so in order to go to your next case file you may want to open another terminal window and go to your run directory and here you have uh, go to your non ground so you may want to visualize the mess of the non ground effect okay non ground effect mess mendered zero okay uh, let's visualize this mess using the GMS generator. GMS generator. We may, we may want to close the previous uh, mess file. Although you can just leave it as it is, but yeah. Okay. Now open. Uh, okay, main space. Uh, open form. On ground effect mess. Main. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so for now this is a mesh file so we'll modify the uh, mesh file to uh, move this uh, airfoil at the center or uh, or we can say like the, uh, move the ground uh, below so that airfoil is essentially not under the influence of ground effect but at the center so in order to do that you may want to go and modify your uh, boundary distance here you can see uh, the ground height uh, for now the grind uh, the ground height is only uh, 0.5 of the airfoil code so we'll change this to 10 and uh, so now you can save this file and generate the file and uh, generate your mesh again so here you can see um, your airfoil is now not under the influence of ground effect it has it has moved up into your computational domain so uh, there's, there's a very refined mesh underneath your airfoil you we do not want this much of a refined mesh so we can also modify this one we can convert your ground grid size from 0 0.05 to 0 0.5 save this file and then reload the mesh again okay now the uh, grid size underneath your airfoil is not very refined all the way to your all the way to the ground so yeah this this is uh, how we are going to solve the case of the uh, airfoil under on which is not under the influence of ground effect so you can minimize this one now we can go back to changing your uh, boundary file so okay okay uh, constant and oh sorry uh, first then we have to generate the mess to generate the mess you can enter this command so we can close this one can, uh, enter uh, this command again and then you want to convert the gmesh to open form mesh okay now you can go back to modifying your boundary file okay here uh, front and back is empty front and back is empty ground is uh, here uh, the ground boundary condition is going to be different than the earlier case but here uh, ground is not moving uh, give this a patch uh, patch boundary condition not a wall boundary condition uh, domain boundary will also be patched and the wing will mm, will change the wing to wall
okay now you want to modify the initial conditions of your uh, of this case uh, because this case the initial condition of this case is slightly different from the other case uh, your initial velocity of uh, of the ground is uh, in the previous case the initial condition of the ground was uh, the fixed value moving moving with the moving with the speed of moving with the speed of air but here you may want to change uh, this one to free stream free stream and then the free stream value will be free stream value will be the internal field or you can save this file okay uh, uh, the other pressure initial boundary condition need not be modified now you can go to your uh, case file each respective case file and you can call your solver uh, so we, let's call the solver for the ground effect uh, we want to call pimple foam okay sorry so you want to go to case and I've already uh, solved this file so I do not need to run it again so I'll stop this here and then uh, similarly you also want to call the your solver in your another case so when you have solved uh, call the solver for both case files uh, uh, and then the result will be saved and uh, I've already saved the results now we go back to our post processing and then we'll visualize the uh, visualize the results I've created an animation of of the pressure contour uh, for an airfoil underground effect and and the airfoil when it's not underground effect so let's visualize this one uh, so this one is an airfoil underground effect here you can see there is a lot of pressure contour interacting with your ground uh, ground surface okay. while on the other hand this there is this another airfoil uh, the pressure contour is not uh, nowhere near your ground uh, and it's not interacting with your ground so uh, that's the major differences that we've found between the two airfoils now we can go back uh, if you, you may want to visualize the uh, visualize other contours uh, such as velocity pressure you may also do that uh, but we'll go and visualize the lift forces in order to generate the lift forces in order to generate the lift forces you can go to your terminal window and after you have uh, solved this case files uh, let's see okay post processing no cd okay after you have uh, solved your case file you, you may want to run this command to generate your uh, lift forces here this is uh, different uh, this is not i did not let it run until finish so i'll close this one i've already run uh, solved the case file before so here I have combined there are uh, lead forces of the two air airfoil the one under ground effect and the other one is not ground under ground effect here the scale of uh, scale is slightly different mm, but if we look at more closely uh, uh, for an airfoil under ground effect the lead forces is mm, around 47 but uh, for an airfoil without the uh, without the influence of ground effect uh, the airfoil is uh, the lift force is only 45 uh, so it's slightly different we can say that the airfoil that's under the ground effect generate more lift uh, that's it for today guys uh, i hope uh, you may like these videos if you have any any comments you may uh, give a, give a feedback on the comments below uh, uh, so cheers uh, happy forming